we are going to the United States of America, everybody. We are going down to the States today, and I'm so excited. I have not been down to the States. Well, we went last summer to Great Falls, Montana. Today, we are going just to a small little town called Haver, Montana. It is, it's very small, but it's only two hours away from where we live. So we like to go down there for a day trip and get some groceries, get some different things that we see. So I want to share with you guys like the day and I definitely want to share with you our little grocery haul that we get. I'm not going for groceries per se, but I'm going for like different things that I see that we can't get here in Canada. Considering it's only two hours away from us, they have so many different things. It's absolutely crazy, the things that we just cannot get here in Canada. So I'm excited to see what they have because when we went to Great Falls, I don't even think we went through a grocery store like looking for different things because we were just busy. We went to the state fair, we went to horse racing and it was so much fun. But today is just going to be literally going to the dollar store and going to Walmart and we might go to North 40. They have a North 40 in Haver and Jimmy likes to look around there. Um, he wants to get actually some primers for loading his guns and we looked it up and we are able to bring some back. However, we're only going for the day. So for groceries, we don't pay any tax or duties coming back on groceries, but if we bought anything else, we would have to pay tax on it. Sometimes it's worth it, but sometimes it's not. And we will be going down to, I think we're going to Missoula this summer. And when we go down there, we'll be down there for probably two or three days. So that's when he'll get his primer, but he does want to have a look. I was thinking maybe North 40 would probably have it. I don't even know if there's any gun stores in Haver, but we will definitely have a look and we will bring you along with us. So let's get going. All right, we have made it to Haver. Um, and we're just at the mall here because that's where the dollar store is. However, there is no North 40 and I don't think there's very much in this mall anymore. Um, but there is a Dollar Tree is what it's called. So we're going to head in. All right, just came out of the dollar store and that dollar store has gone downhill so much. They don't even really unbox all of their inventory. Did you notice that, hon? There's boxes in every single aisle and there's like half of the things in the aisle. The other half is just in boxes and I guess you just help yourself. If you wanted something, you just take it right out of the box. So that was weird, but I got, we got a few things and um, like I said, there is no North 40. Uh, so we'll probably just go to Walmart. I think I might Google to see if there is like a hunter store. Maybe if Jimmy wants to stop by, might as well. It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> so we have plenty of time. The border is only open until five. It has just stayed at its summer's, uh, summer hours. So we have to leave Haver by four o'clock, which I'm sure will be no problem since it's already 11. Um, I'm just really shocked. We haven't been down here for probably five or six years, um, but it definitely has gone downhill, but it's nice. It's nice to come down here because it is only two hours away. So, you know, we stock up on a lot of um, headache pills and sleeping pills at the dollar store because they're really good quality, the exact same as like Tynol or like Nidol or whatever sort of brand name and it's only a dollar. We don't have that in Canada. They don't sell those sort of things. So we stock up on it when we come here. And it's nice to just see different things. All right, we found North 40. It actually moved locations. This used to be uh, Kmart, um, but then they closed down, I think, a lot of them in the States, and definitely this was one of them, but we found North 40, so we're gonna have a look inside. Oh, one thing that is so funny to us, because we live in Canada, is <laughs> there was just like a, an aisle that was full of like, um, taser guns and um, what is it pepper spray and pepper gel and you can just buy it like that is crazy to us because it's illegal in Canada actually <laughs> and it's just the amount of like like there's a lot of um, holsters 
in here as well too which i think is just crazy because obviously guns guns are legal in canada but they're more for the purpose of like hunting and stuff right we can't legally carry them well we can carry them with a purpose of going hunting or something right has to be in a locked case and all of that stuff but it's crazy you can just buy a taser for 10 bucks that is crazy to me all right, we're just, while well, Jimmy's getting gas, I'm just inside. Because one thing that I absolutely love about the US is your all convenience stores. They have so much stuff. And I bought a couple things, which I'll show when we get home, but I like trying different pops and stuff just as like a single one, if I can find them. Um, but I definitely will show you guys once I get home and do a little haul for you, but I'm just gonna have a quick look inside this store very quickly and then we will be on to our next spot all right we are back from haver for the day it is almost five o'clock so we made really really good time like i said there's just not much in haver anymore um so we left around 2 2 30 we actually went out for pizza at pizza hut um their pizza is really really good there it's different than Canada. We actually haven't eaten at a Pizza Hut in Canada since Jimmy and I have been together and that's been 15 years. But for some reason in the States, it's a whole lot better. It's not as greasy. That's what we kind of say as far as comparing it from the States to Canada. And then there was an alert that went out for a severe thunderstorm. It looked like the clouds were coming in and we left kind of just in time. We actually didn't get any rain and made it back home safely. So one thing I noticed, we went to another grocery store because I wanted to look at the creamers that were in the States because they have so many different flavors. That's one thing that I said to Jimmy is so different in the United States is <laughs> there is like one kind of like a, a brand, like let's say um, Triscuits. And then they, you come up with like 10 different kinds of Triscuits. And we noticed that they did that with Spam. Jimmy actually noticed it. We don't eat Spam anyways, but there's like six or eight different flavors of Spam. And that is one thing that I definitely notice in the United States is all of the flavors that you have off of like one. So like Oreos, that's a great example. So Oreos here in Canada, you can get regular Oreos or the thin or the double stuff. That's the only kind of Oreos that we have here in Canada. In the US, there's like six different kinds. <laughs> same with Pop-Tarts, same with cereal, like pretty much honestly everything. I noticed that the States is notorious for doing that. Uh, so it is interesting to see like even a grocery store, completely different, like not even 50-50, like same different. It's 100%, 90% different than a Canadian grocery store. So it was really interesting. We love going down there. We love the States anyways. Uh, so it was a great day trip. So let's get into the grocery haul. Let me show you what I got. So here in Canada, we used to get these ear candles. Now these work really well. They help with actually like our sinuses and stuff as well. And um, they don't sell them in Canada anymore. There is a lot of things like I had mentioned, especially when we were in North 40, like we don't like taser guns or taser guns, whatever they're called. And um, the spray, the pepper spray, like that's illegal in Canada. Um, so it's so funny how things are like so different. And this, there is nowhere to be found in Canada for these ear candles. We really like them. I know there's mixed controversy, but Jimmy and I really like them. They work really well for our sinuses and uh, just clear everything out of our ear canal. So we really like those to each their own, but we like those. I really like the turkey bites. We can't, all the stuff that I all am showing you, we don't get in Canada. I didn't buy anything that we can get here in Canada. I just got different stuff. Um, I love these turkey bites. These are probably one of my favorite turkey bites, actually. I really, really enjoy them. Then this is all of the chocolate that we don't have. Jimmy got uh, the salted nut roll, two paydays, and then I got two hundred grand and one of the Twix salted caramels. So I'm gonna put those all in the fridge after I'm done recording this. I wanted to try this Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. So I ended up getting that at one of the convenience stores. 
And then a lot of people rave about this Celsius. I've never seen it in Canada, but so many people love it and drink it as an energy drink. So I thought that I would give it a try and I purchased that. And then always, always, we obviously we can get cheese in Canada, <laughs> but um, the US, the cheese is so inexpensive. Like this in Canada is probably, I would say seven to eight dollars Canadian funds. This was on sale for $1.80 US funds, so probably like two bucks. So I did get one. Cheese, like this isn't too, too bad because I kept it in the cooler coming home, but depending on the weather, if it's really, really hot, um, it'll all like be one clump. So I try not to buy too, too much, but this looks like it it stayed pretty, pretty nice and cool. Love, you guys are so lucky you have these Chibani flips. These are my absolute favorite, the Key Lime Crumble. They are so, so good so i got two of those jimmy and i love these these are star crunch they are cookies with caramel and crispy rice everybody's probably watching this right now going yes janet yes janet <laughs> but for us it's just it's so different right um so we got the big pack of these um i don't know how many 12 big cookies so we'll, we'll have those another thing that is actually really inexpensive um, down in the states compared to canada is margarine so we use a lot of butter i think i have two pounds in the fridge right now but obviously we use margarine as well this was i want to say like a dollar 20 or something like that in canada it would probably be double that even with exchange so i thought i would grab one of that we don't have any sugar-free or um yeah, sugar-free. We have fat-free, but we don't have sugar-free jello in Canada. I can't find it in my location anyways. Uh, obviously, some of the bigger centers maybe even offer some of this stuff. I have no idea. But this is the cheesecake, cheesecake flavor, so I thought that would be good. And then I wanted to try this. A lot of people on TikTok and other YouTubers and what have you... Um, have it so i'm guessing you just have it with fries can you tell me below what do you what do you have this with i'm thinking it's probably french fries do you put it on your your burgers though maybe or I, i'm not too sure but i wanted to give it a try because i've seen a lot of people have it and like it and then we ended up getting this big thing of red hot it was a lot cheaper once again we can get this here in canada but it was a lot cheaper i have a question for you guys though we actually looked in the states for um, sriracha. We cannot find sriracha at any grocery store here in Canada, and we could not find it in the States whatsoever. So let me know if you guys know what's going on with the sriracha shortage, or if it's just maybe to Canada or something, but we, we can find it absolutely anywhere. Wanted to try this. I, I'm thinking I might have bought the wrong stuff, though, because the the label is white and a lot of people that I've seen using it, it's like a black label. I don't know. Well, tell me below as well in the comments, what kind of Kinder's seasoning should I be getting? We have a lot of steak um, and meat. Obviously we have venison, so that's mainly what we would use it for. Obviously, you know, we can use it for other things, but let me know down below. I really feel like I might've gotten the wrong thing, but either way, we definitely will use that. Then I got suckered into the water talk is what it's called on TikTok. It's a whole bunch of people that make different concoctions with a whole bunch of different mixes. Now these ones are all sugar free um, and they mix them. I don't have a lot of them, but they mix them with the skinny syrups, like different summer flavors. But I thought these would kind of be good. I was looking for a Sonic one. I've never even eaten at a Sonic, so I have no idea even what that tastes like. But a lot of people I notice are getting like Sonic blue raspberry or something but I thought this would be good I got a pineapple skittles and a cherry starburst one we don't have these and I I, I seen these actually a long time ago when we went to have her and I was like you know what I, I think we have those at home and I never bought it and we don't so I wanted to give them a try because I see a lot of people have these that they're like pretty much the choice of a tortilla so i wanted to give those a try we love this cereal like jimmy this is jimmy's favorite cereal we're not even big cereal people to be honest but we don't get this so whenever we're down in the states we have just grab a box and then this i'm pretty sure you can probably buy 
here in Canada, but it's a cat treat and it's one of those lookable ones. So I thought that I would just get that for Ivy when she comes and visits at the end of June. And oh, we also got a whole bunch of spicy noodles because we don't have these here. We did actually at one time have them here. We don't anymore, so we actually got a few of those. Then from the dollar store, actually, let me finish these. These were from Walmart as well. We can get these here, but they were like 80 cents or something at Walmart. And then we just ended up getting some deodorant as well too at Walmart. And then at the dollar store, Jimmy picked up some of these floss picks, which he really likes. And then like I mentioned to you before, we get the sleeping pills and headache pills from the dollar store because they don't offer things like this at the dollar store. And if they do, there's like six tablets in one. Like I'm not, even, I'm not even joking. And it's not even for a dollar 25. It's like $2. The dollar store isn't even a dollar anymore. But um, the one we went to in Haver, everything was a dollar 25, everything. But these are so good. So we, I just thought these would be good for now when we go back to Missoula, Montana, probably in August or July, whenever we decide to go. I'm gonna stock up again on that from the dollar store. Um, we also got one of these headache ones. But these headache pills are the best. I won't buy anything else like Tylenol or anything. I only buy these kind from the dollar store um, with the caffeine. They work really, really well. And then this I found at Walmart. Um, I thought this would be good. I just got one of them. I didn't see any at the dollar store. Um, so I thought that I would get that from Walmart. So that is what we got while being in the States. I think our total was $110 for absolutely everything that we got. And that's pretty much everything that you see here. We didn't get anything else. Forgot to mention, I did get something else. <laughs> I got this uh, case of Dr. Pepper and cream soda because a lot of people say it's really, really good. So I did end up getting a 12 pack of that. I wanted to mention as well too, before I close up this video is there was a couple different things that we, we noticed that we've, we've known before, but Montana has no helmet rules for motorcycles or side-by-side -side or quads, which is, really weird so we've seen obviously we've seen it before in montana but we've seen today some motorcyclists without a ham helmet which is just weird um and they still have plastic bags do you guys still have plastic bags where you guys live but we always take our bags everywhere because we don't have plastic bags anymore in canada nor do we have plastic straws all of our straws are paper it's it's so annoying because obviously your drink you know, is water or liquid. And so your straw gets soggy. Um, so that's one thing when we went to Pizza Hut that they had plastic straws and we were like, oh my gosh, they have plastic straws. So there's just a few differences that we notice like every time that we go down to the States. Um, but the, the bag thing really surprised me because I thought that some, some states didn't have any plastic anymore, but I could be wrong. Tell me down in the comments, um, do you guys wear helmets on your motorcycles and do you have plastic bags while shopping? All right, so that is everything. I noticed actually there was more noodles over here. <laughs> like I said, we used to get them in Canada, can't find them anyway, anywhere. Jimmy and Zoe both love those noodles. So we decided to stock up, but that is everything from our little day trip down to Haver. Um, like I said, it was really good. It's, it's so nice that we can do that in a day and wherever we move to in like after we live here and sell the house and everything, and traveling but if we do like rent or buy a condo or something it will be on the southern part of Canada because we do love going to the states so much so that is it for today's video video you guys thank you so much for joining us on our little day trip and we will see you guys next time bye guys